there is a popular technique filmmakers have been using for a long time called anamorphic lenses. It's a lensing choice by its nature that makes our videos look a lot different and a lot artistic to be specific. Anamorphic lenses are known to have certain qualities. First could be it has a widescreen effect which means a lot is compressed into one frame and that frame is also wider than usual. So it tends to get more of the background while keeping the subject size very much as original as possible and it tends to distort the edges of the frame to get the more information into the picture. I have made an extra copy of my clip on a separate layer so we can toggle on and off and see the before after difference. I'll jump into the fusion tab which is here in Resolve. I'll add an effect to it which comes as a node. This is sort of a warp tool as it has a lot of points and I can warp the image to anything I want but these points are too much for me. I'll reduce them to 2 on both the sides. And now my job here is to squeeze in the edges to the center of the image only on the right and the left side from the top. This way we are squeezing in the image vertically to the center of the frame and after we go out of this fusion page. Our image looks something like this. So you see black edges and now it's a little more spherical, it's a little more distorted, everything comes in the center. To cover up the distortion, I'll put black bars top and bottom. I have just added two solids and a lot of cropping to them. Now this is our image, I'll toggle before and after so you get a better picture of what has changed in this while. You see? It would be to an extent wrong if I say this is the anamorphic look completely but this is one of the elements of the anamorphic look which is the distortion. It's very beautiful, it could be used in music videos and especially wide shots. It works very well in the wide shots. I'm doing it for the other shot. Of course, the way to get best results is to use anamorphic lens but not all of us have the access to these lenses so these could be many tiny things that you could do in your videos to get that anamorphic look you could eventually add lens flares in after effects or resolve or any other post production software what else you can do you can do oval bokeh that's a different technique and it comes with a different video i'll Definitely tell that sometime in future, but this is all for now. Hope you like it and do subscribe because I have saved some money in your pocket and now it's your duty to put some in mine. Thank you.